Today we're going to talk nested if statements, how we can have multiple if statements within one formula that allows you to look at one field or many fields and be able to have a specific output. So one if statement can look at if whether a logic is true and if it is true to spit out an answer and if it's false to spit out a different answer. But having nested if statements allows you to have multiple possible outputs. So I want to look at this uh, on this opportunity. We're going to go ahead and build a nested if statement. And really, we'll talk in another video about using the case formula versus a nested if. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a nested if statement based off of the amount as well as a checkbox here. So I want to know based off of the amount if it's within a certain layer of, of currency as well as if it is private or public. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this nested if statement using a formula field. So I'll go ahead and call this one the sector tier. And I want this one to come out as a text in this case. So important here to not overcomplicate a nested if statement. It's gonna be if statements layered on top of one another and I'll show you how we format that. So let's start with just one if statement. So I'm gonna say if, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I pull in the right fields. I'm gonna say if the amount is greater than 100,000, and uh, let's say that that private field, if that private is true, then I want it to be able to spit out uh, my own specific text. So in this case, I'm gonna call it private high. And this is just the tier that I'm using. So this essentially would be one if statement. Now, to close out this if statement, I could put, you know, false, right? And this would be the end of this if statement saying, if it met this criteria, Let's spit it out as private high. If it doesn't meet this criteria, let's spit it out as false. But I would also like, I also want to look at other criteria to be able to have a specific output. So in this case, to make nested if statements, all you need to know is that you need the logic and then what you want to spit out if that is true. Now in this case, it's very important to note that with amounts, it is going to trigger the positive one and give you that output and not even evaluate the lower criteria. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm actually going to do uh, another 100,000, but if this private is false, I'm gonna put this as public. Great. Now, again, I'm showing the amounts. This if statement, if this trigger is true, if this statement right here is a positive uh, outcome, it's gonna spit out private high. And it's not gonna look at any other if statements below that. And so it's always gonna take it on the, the order that you have it listed, okay? Because for example, if in this example, I say that the amount is, we'll say greater than uh, 75,000 and it's private, I wanna call this private and I'll call this, I'll call this private medium. Now, if, if there's an amount, we'll say it's 120,000 and it's private, it's going to trigger off of this, but theoretically it would also trigger off of this one here. But again, because of the order of the if statement, it's gonna spit out private high and not even evaluate the ones further down. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull in, uh, I'll do a few more of these just to show how this works. So again, I'm just putting this if statements, I'm not putting that what the outcome is if it's false. I'm letting it evaluate all of these, okay? So this one here, I'm gonna say if this one is false, we'll say this one is public medium. And then to close this out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this one as less than, uh, we'll say 50,000. is gonna be my private low, okay? Go ahead and put that in here as well. 
and then put this one as false. So this is gonna be my public low. So here I have six if statements here. Now, again, I'm putting here's the logic and here's what you give me if it's true. I haven't put anything if it's false yet. It's gonna evaluate all of these statements. Now at the end of all of these statements, I do need to put what would happen if, it, if none of this is true. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as blank. You do need to close it out by giving it that false logic. And then what's important here is all you need to remember is however many if statements there are or how many closed parentheses you need. So in this case, I have six. So I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check the syntax on this. So this one came out true. Again, the if statements, it's going to evaluate it one at a time. And whenever it triggers on one, it's gonna end, okay? So we'll see this in practice in a moment. So important pieces, it goes by the order that you have it entered in. And then at the end of these if statements, all you gotta remember, logic, the positive uh, outcome. And then at the end of all your statements, you add just what is the placeholder in case all of these are false. In my case, I'm leaving it as blank and then close it out with parentheses. So as I've checked the syntax, there's no errors here, but do wanna talk through what outcomes are possibly gonna happen. Again, for the, the upper private tier, it's anything over 100,000 that's marked as private or public. Anything over 75,000 is gonna be medium. And then you'll notice here, I left a gap here. So anything between 75,000 and 50,000 actually won't meet any criteria and that should spit out that blank amount. So anything between 75 and 50 is gonna be blank. Now, let's go ahead and check this in practice. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna refresh here. All right, great. So we notice here, uh, let's go ahead and input a high number. So I'll put in 150,000, mark it as private. Notice here that the sector is private high. Let me go ahead and lower this. Let me go down to 20,000 and let's put it as public. And that is public low. But as you recall, the sweet spot in here is between 75,000 and 50,000 where it should not meet any criteria. So I'm gonna put in 60,000. And you'll notice that because it doesn't fall into any of my brackets, it spaced it out which is exactly what I intended it to do, leaving it with this false outcome. So if all of these are false, it spits out nothing. Now, just to show one more example, again, if it's over 75,000, I'm gonna put that as public, it's gonna show that medium. So again, what's important here is that the formula is evaluated in the order that you put it. In my case, those high amounts, to those medium amounts, to those low, and at the end of the day, if none of those are met, it's gonna spit out that unwanted outcome. In my case, it was blank. I hope this has been helpful on nested ifs. Let me know if I missed anything. If you have any further questions, thanks.